Are you a data scientist or a Python developer? Here's an exciting news for you. Anaconda announced a shiny new technology called PyScript that will allow the user to write Python code in the HTML, just like the JavaScript. Sounds impossible, but now it's possible. And in this video, I will teach you everything about the PyScript from the starting to the end. So without wasting any time, let's start. So what is PyScript? Anaconda announced the PyScript by mentioning a system for interleaving Python in HTML, like PHP. And that's mean you can write and run Python code in HTML and even can call the JavaScript libraries. So from now on, if you wanted to do anything in the web development, you can do it from this Python. That sounds amazing. What can we do using the PyScript? The most obvious thing that we can do using the PyScript is now we can write the Python code in the HTML and build the web applications. The PyScript makes the power of the Python accessible to a far greater audience of the front-end developers and the creators. Secondly, with the help of the PyScript, we no longer need to worry about the deployment. PyScript provides the architectural shift beyond the cloud. Everything will happen in your web browser only. And thirdly, now data scientists can share their dashboard and models in an HTML file, which will run the code whenever someone opens the file in the browser. What is the magic behind PyScript? PyScript is currently built on Pyodite, which is the port of CPython to WebAssembly. And the WebAssembly is the fundamental technology that makes it possible to write website using the Python. The PyScript supports the writing and running the Python code in the browser and it will also support other languages in the future. So in the future, many more languages can also be written in the HTML just like the Python is now. How to use the PyScript? The alpha release of PyScript can be found on PyScript.net. So let's dive into the coding part and also code the PyScript in the real. So let's start. So I am in the official website of the PyScript which is PyScript.net and here you can see there is two options of using the PyScript. One is the download and one is the install. So if you choose the download, you just need to download the zip file and unzip this file and just copy this HTML tag into your HTML file's head section. Okay, and that's it for the download. But if you choose the down install section, you just don't need to install anything. It is written that just kidding, you don't need to install anything. And for the installation section, you just only need to copy this thing, these two tags and paste it into your HTML files head section. Okay, so it is the VS code and it is a basic HTML template. I'm just pasting these two links or the two HTML tags and that's it for installing the PyScript. Okay, so if you click on this link for click here for more information, this link will go you into GitHub page of the PyScript where all of the information and some codes are written. Okay, so you will see all of this thing. Okay, so here is written for development there's we need to vs code and one live server extension of the vs code okay so for the live server extension you just need to click on it and install the live server okay so just type live server and it is the extension that you need to install i already installed it so it is not taking or not showing the installation button okay so just install this thing and after installation you will get this type of button which is written go live so if you click on it your live server will be running Okay, just I just click on it and in the browser it is already opening this page. Okay, it is blank for now. Just see the usage of the PyScript. So just copy this thing, your first PyScript HTML file. So just copy this thing and paste it here in the body section. So this PyScript is written one exactly Python code, which is a print hello world. So I am just saving this thing and just going for the browser the what is written now okay so let's see it is written the hello world with the help of the python and this is amazing we are actually writing the python code in the html file okay so if i just say i am devendu which is my name obviously i am devendu dash just save this thing and just see it is loading and after loading, it is written I am Devendu Dash. It is amazing that we actually written the Python code in our website. Okay, so you can also write different types of things that like that we already written this. So hello, you can see it is written hello, and after loading, it is written I am Devendu Dash. Okay, so this is coming from the Python, and this is amazing. So let's check the next thing. So obviously, we have seen that we need to write the PyScript tag. This is a tag in between you need to write the python code okay so just don't forget the pyscript tag so let's see the next thing so next thing is that we have some python code i mean just copy this thing and see one thing that just pasting in 
and by the way you can do or you can add multiple python script or py script in the html file and that is be complete okay okay so i just not doing anything i just copy this code into the from the github repository and i'm just saving this thing okay so let's see what is be coming in our browser okay let's see there is showing a python exception error and why this error is occurring the first py script tag is working fine that i am devindu is working fine but what is going on in this thing and if you just see this thing there's it is written the invalid syntax and why it is written invalid syntax because this code is not indented properly and we all know that for the python you need to indent all of your code properly okay so for that we need to add or we need to delete the previous spaces just like that so i am already deleted the previous spaces so this is the code that we need to do or this is the indentation that we need to do for retain any python code okay so if you wanted to write one single line python code you can write it like this for in the same line where the py script start and py script end but if your code has multi line you just need to take in care of this indentation properly okay so let's see what is this code is working or what is it code is about so this code is about computing the value of the pi so this is the normal printing statement that is written let's compute the pi and here's the one function which is returning the value of the pi and here are the function is calling which is compute pi with uh, some values of the end and after that in the s the value of the python is storing or it is actually the string which is storing and we are just printing the string so this is all about this code i'm just saving it now so previously we get some error for the indentation so let's see what we get now just reload this page you can see these whole two tags are working fine so i am devindu is working fine and also the second py script tag is also working fine so the next thing is that the py script dot write function so just see the uses of that okay so if you use the print statement and put something inside this print statement the print statement will directly print their values into our web pages just like this but what if you don't want this to be happen what if you want some html tag and inside that tag you want to print this values of the pi or this string or something like that okay so for that we also have one function in the py script and that is the py script dot write function okay so for the demonstration i am just deleting this thing and also deleting this hello and just copy the code here okay so i'm just copy this code from here and just copy control c and adding this here and also need to indent it properly so okay so this is indented properly and this firstly just read and understand what is this code is doing okay so firstly it is importing the date time as dt so this is the package of the python which is date time and it is importing and then we have the py script dot write function and this function is taking two arguments or parameter whatever you call so the first thing is that the id of your element so let's quickly add the id so in our case it is the today so i am just writing one div containing the today so our div is fine so i want this dt dot date dot today function will be run or execute their value inside the today div okay inside this html div okay so for that i am writing this thing and for the next case we also have the similar type of pi function and and inside that for that case we are printing the value of the pi inside the html element with id of pi okay so let's quickly build one more div with the id of pi so this is the id of pi div and this is the today so this two pi script dot write function is taking the id and printing their values just like this that whatever we have putting inside those okay so just save this thing and see the output now okay so just see okay so just see for the firstly we have this tag which is the dt and in the today so in the today we have written this the time that we have printing and after that we have this thing or the pi which is the pi is approximately something value so this is written here and after that let's see after these two tags the pi script values printing is coming okay so this is actually the interesting thing that if you wanted to do something like or if you wanted to print something organized way you just need to 
print or you just need to write the PyScript.write function. Okay. So this is actually cool. So let's see the next thing. Okay. By the way, I'm showing one shortcut trick of that. So if you wanted to write something and you don't want to write this long string, you can write one simple thing for that. Okay. So for that, I'm just writing something. This is the code that I overwrite it. So let's see what is this code is about. So in the previous code, we have two tags. So these two tags, we need to populate with these values. Okay. So I separated two Python scripts. So one is here for the today and other one is here for the pi. Okay. So just see what I am doing. So I am just taking one attribute like the output and inside the output, I am just giving the ID where I need to put this value. Okay. Just see, this is the today and this is the today and just putting the attribute output and inside that i have also imported it and the last thing that we have to we just printing or we have just written whatever things i need to printing here just see i just need to printing this statement here so i just just writing this thing so this whatever the value will be getting from this function will be printing in the today and similarly i have written the pi here so output is pi will be coming here and this is the normal functions and in the s i am containing one string and just typing s okay so if i was just typing s this s value will be printing inside this pi tag html tag okay so let's save this thing and check whatever my code is working fine or not so i came here and it is just loading okay just see our code is working fine just as before if i change something like approximately new format and just save this thing just see you now this is loading and this is actually working fine exactly that I am showing. Okay. So if you don't want to write the PyScript.write function, you can do the attribute type of thing and it is actually the shortcut. Okay. So let's see what is the next. So the next thing is that to package and module. Okay. So in the Python, we have so many packages or module and some of the cool or some of the important and popular packages are NumPy and Matplotlib. Okay. So you can also add this to or this packages inside your code also okay so for that you need to add some tag like pyenv and that is stands for python environment and you just need to add the tag here okay so just copy pasting this thing as numpy and matplotlib so py environment is setting up the PyScript environment which will contain the py in numpy and the matplotlib okay so let's copy other things also so i also need to add this thing so let's copy and add it inside our code let's delete everything that we have inside the body and paste it here okay so this is our two tags and this is our python code and this is indented properly and just see this is written the output plot and this is the plot so whatever things it will get it will printing in the plot okay so also i have one each one tag which is written let's plot random numbers and this code if you know the python you can really understand what is going on so i'm just taking x and y as random values with the help of the numpy and just plotting a scatter plot so save this thing and see the output now as i am written the flag here so the value or the output of the flag will be coming here in the plot okay so see the output now so just see it is written the let's plot the random numbers and here is our scatter plot that we have written okay so this is the fig that our scatter plot has so this is our scatter plot you can do any type of plotting like this you can also use the seaborn package with the help of the pi script so the pi script is actually very powerful and with the help of the pi script you can actually do the data science dashboard and all of the working of the data science that we have all of the random visualization you can do just with the help of this html code you can do and you can even save this file and send it to someone and they can also see that whatever this thing or whatever plot you have plotted here okay so this is the use of the pi script and this will be very powerful in the future also okay so let's see what is the next for in our pi script so in the next thing that has the local modules okay so just like we have some packages like the numpy and the matplotlib we can also actually import it the packages that inside our local machine okay so for that i'm just typing on just taking this thing just copy this thing and put it in the data.py so data.py pasting it saving this and this is fine and also i need to add the paths here so for adding the part or the paths i just need to add this thing okay 
So similarly, numpy and matplotlib, I have written the paths and then putting the slash data dot pi. You, I can also write the dot slash or the dot is exactly the same thing. Okay. So if I save this thing, okay, I just need one thing that okay, I'm just copy pasting this pi y tag. So let's copy paste the pi script tag and also set up this properly. Okay. So for that case, just see we are importing this data from here. The data from from the data importing make x and y and the makes x and y is the function inside the data. So whatever thing we are doing inside previously, we are doing with a code or the local environment Python files code. Okay. So also save this thing and see the output now. The output will be same, but now we are using the local environment Python code. Okay. So let's wait some time because it is loading and here it is our python scatterplot graph with the help of the local environment file okay so this is all about the python code of this thing okay so you can also do all of the things like that you can practice it and i just wanted to show you something out of the box from that okay so i'm just writing as the ideas random and just adding one pi script tag so pi script and you can also write the src also okay so if you write something like src dot slash python or uh, sorry dot data dot py and you can save this thing and in the data dot py if you just delete everything and just write print hello world so just write print hello world okay also if you just delete this thing okay i just actually don't need any repo environment here so i'm deleting everything so in our code we have only these two tags html tags and we have one py script with a src of data.py so if you wanted to any python code that will be attached in your website then you can do it like this way so just save this thing and see the output now it is loading so let's wait for some time you can see it is written the hello world so this hello world is coming from the data.py okay so you can do any type of things like py script dot write so let me just write in py script dot write and inside that i'm just writing the random and just take 100 as a value okay so i'm just saving this and see the output now that whatever thing it is working okay so you can see it is the 100 is working fine it is coming actually from here so PyScript dot write it is coming from here okay so this is how you can also code and also i just wanted to show you something that if you just do one thing that if you just write in as 100 and just type in and also if you just delete this print statement okay so let's save this thing so also in here just write the output as the random so let's write random okay so save this thing see one second okay so just now see what will be the output okay so it is working fine again <laughs> it is written the hundred so this is how you can also code okay so this is can be also useful for you so I think this is all for the pi script. So everything that we have using the pi script and I wanted to show you something the example that we have for the pi script. So I have downloaded this file and unzip this file and open it with the help of the VS code. So this is the file in the zip folder and if you just open this thing and open the example you can see there is a section called index.html. Okay. So I am just opening it with the live server. Just wait. It is opening. Okay. So it is opened. And you can see there's lots of example of the pi script here. So it is the hello world written with the help of the pi script. And there's different types of things that they are also we have one to do application. Just like with the help of the Python and uh, pi script, we are writing this. Okay. So this is also you can do with the help of the Python. And also I wanted to show you something and that will be the Mario game. Okay. So I'm just not getting where the Mario game is gone. I'm just go in the code and also in here at mario you can see it is play mario so i'm just opening it with the live server okay so let's restart the live server and just wait and you can see it is the exactly code of the mario okay so I'm just starting it and it will load sometimes so don't worry about that so you can actually play the the all mario game with the help of the python <laughs> okay this is exactly so much good and in the future pi script will be definitely be very important thing in our life and also it will be more powerful than it is in now okay. 
so this is for all for this video i hope you like this video and if you have any doubts regarding the pi script then please comment your doubts and i will definitely reply you and i hope you like this video and also please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and please comment your doubts that how the pi script will be going in the future so see you in the next video bye bye and don't forget to subscribe